welcome to the Star Legend Newsroom, Thursday, August 28th. You know, one of the leading theories, the top theories behind why New Jersey has such incredibly high property taxes is that we just have so many towns here and so many layers of government. It's all laid out in one of the best books on the history of New Jersey, Multiple Municipal Madness. That's by the late Assembly Speaker, Alan Karcher. Now, the Corzine administration is trying to force smaller towns to combine and to consolidate services as a way of trying to kind of reverse this whole mess. Yesterday, we hit the streets on Bloomfield to talk to people about it. Check it out. New Jersey is a small state, but we have 566 towns, a lot of them with their own police and fire departments and school systems. It's been called municipal madness. We're out here on the street talking to people about whether they have any idea of how many towns New Jersey actually has and whether combining services would be a good idea. 70? Higher. 100? Higher. 200 towns? Higher. In New Jersey? 110. 566. Towns in New Jersey. 566. Wow. Too many? Too many, but not enough. What do you mean by that? We need more, more people, more population. We need to be like New York City. We need a million people in one small area so we can be a superpower. New Jersey gets overlooked so much. I think they should combine? The governor wants people to combine. Why? I don't think that would work. There's too many people. I think they need their independence, the towns. Uh, I, I think it just depends on the town, like how big is the town, how small is the town. Like bigger towns won't want to pair with the small town because why share what they have with the small town? You might want to, you might want to think about pairing small towns together. Where do you live? What town do you live? I live in Belleville, New Jersey. Okay. So would you be willing to combine Belleville with another town or another, with a neighbor town? Sure. Which one? Choose one. Nutley. Belleville and Nutley. All right. Yeah. What will we call it? Don't call it Butley. We will call it Nut Bell. <laughs> Bloomfield, Montclair, Glen Ridge. Absolutely. I would not combine them all. Absolutely. What will we call it? Greenfield. <laughs> <laughs> Greenfield is a great name. Greenfield. Greenfield. Is that your name? Is that your last name? No, not at all. <laughs> but we have so much greenery around, and then, you know, combine them greenery all. greenery in here? I don't see any greenery. One tree. It, it starts to get greener as you go up. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll check it out. Greenfield and Nut Bell. All right, you're going to sign those towns up. All right, it's one of my favorite, all-time favorite New Jersey summer experiences. It's just to go out in the backyard, pull a big, juicy red tomato off the vine, take a bite right out of it with a little bit of salt on there. It's amazing. Yesterday, about 1,200 people lined up to do just about the exact same thing. Check it out. Think you know something about tomatoes? What do you know about the orange strawberry tomato? That's this one right here. Or the black tomato. They were among the more than 90 varieties of tomato on offer yesterday at the 18th annual Great Tomato Tasting at Snyder Research and Extension Farm in Hunterdon County. Around 1,200 people came ready to eat, some with their own forks and salt shakers, digging into plates of fresh-cut tomatoes and waxing lyrical about the distinct flavors. We find tomato tasting is very personalized. Um, some people like an acidic tomato, some people like a sweet tomato. We have yellow tomatoes, purple tomatoes. We have ugly-looking heirloom tomatoes that people love. They're striped, and they, they don't look like much, but they taste great to some people. In a blind taste test, people weighed new varieties against tried and true commercial favorites, marking their scores on a sheet for posterity. The record turnout meant long lines for hungry tomato lovers, but they were willing to wait to get a taste of that rare treat, a fresh, flavorful Jersey tomato. People come here with a voracious, voracious interest in eating tomatoes. It's amazing. And you would think after an hour they'd be tired of it, but they just keep right on going. Loads of those. Look at all these varieties. The That's seeds, good. Know. That's good? That's a keeper. You can't just take really? them from the tomatoes. Green giant. They have to be crossed with something. No. Yeah. They're all very civilized about it. I like to take the tomato and just bite it, get the juice flowing down to your chin. All right. Let's wrap things up by taking a look at some comments coming in on our news blog. This one comes into the Ledger Live blog page in response to a video we showed yesterday about immigrant car wash workers who are paid uh, $7.15 an hour, and one of them said even much lower than that. This post by Param01 says, The immigrants are nice people, but they're helping enrich the car wash owners more than anything else. 
I bet if the job paid $13 an hour plus benefits, you'd see plenty of American citizens willing to do the job. But then the car wash owner would only be able to buy a new Mercedes every two years instead of every one year. Well, that wraps up Ledger Live for today. Keep in touch. Send us your photos, videos, emails. Shoot it to us at ledgerlive at starledger.com. And you can always log on and sound off on our news blogs at nj.com. All right, Jersey, take it easy.